Welcome to Indani TV's Red Carpet, live from the Future Awards 2016 at the Federal Palace Hotel in Lagos, Nigeria. Let's go inside and see who's here. So here we are, my name is Folu Storms and you are welcome to Indani TV's Red Carpet at the Future Awards 11th edition 2016. All right, here live at the red carpet of the Future Awards 2016, I've got the most amazing, stunning, talented actress, Somkele Yama. She's blushing like she doesn't know what I'm talking about. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. All right, so excited to be here at the Future Awards. It's the 11th edition. What are your thoughts and your feelings tonight on this amazing occasion? I have to, if I, ha if I wore a hat, I'd have to duff it for these guys. You know, I followed them from uh, 2010 and the growth has been enormous. It's, it's unbelievable how far they've come and it's an award show that I've been a personal advocate for because it's the one that brings all of us in various industries under the one roof and um, says well done and this isn't well done for what you've done but it's what we see you can do. So for me it's, uh, it's quite the award show. Before I let you go girl, what and who are you wearing? <laughs> Fabulous, looking snatched. Talk to us about this. Why thank you. Um, this is Wisdom Franklin. Jane Michael and Yolanda. Yolanda was on the inside, so I'm wearing a corset inside. And Jane Michael helped me out with the one on the outside. I wanted to go a bit risque and bold. And to me, the color would be back for bold and then risque. It's a little bit of peekaboo. I like the peekaboo, please. <laughs> can we just peekaboo this dress? Give us a twirl, girl. Give us a twirl. that we meet tonight, a real shaker and a mover himself. In fact, uh, social media's darling, we're talking about Vizel Osikoya. How are you doing tonight? How are you? How are you? Good, 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 good. Thank you, thank so, you. Thank you great to see you. It's a pleasure to be here with you tonight. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really honored. So Vizel, very, very exciting. You've been recognized by the Future Awards. It's a very prestigious award body, at least by a lot of people's standards. How did you feel when you found out you were nominated? I mean, it felt good. I mean, I, I, mean, I haven't really been nominated for a lot of awards, but when I I found that the future was nominated me. It felt good because I remember the first, when it first started, and up to now, 11 years. It's been a great. I mean, it's been a great 11 years for them so far. I know some years might haven't gone the way they wanted it to, but I mean, they kept on going, and that's the only thing that's going to make them bigger. Because I see being beyond just Nigeria, it's, it's going to be. They're going to take it around Africa now because I feel like more people are getting involved and knowing about it. And it's only for. It's not just about the, fu the future of Nigeria, but it's about the future of Africa. Because Africa really is what the world looks up to now. So, I mean, I really commend the guys doing it and I'm really proud of them. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am grinning from ear to ear because I am sandwiched between male hotness right now. My spirit cannot contain itself. On the one hand, we have Show Ajayi. On the other, we have Daniel Effiog. Guys, ladies, don't be upset with me right now. How are you doing tonight, gentlemen? I am fine. And you? I am doing fantastic, Daniel. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. You're smiling, so much of joy in my spirit. Okay, so first of all, show you've been nominated tonight. Very exciting stuff. How do you feel about the nominee for the Future Award? Yes, uh, it feels very good to be a nominee. I'm so honored. Uh, I've watched this happen. I was, I was part of the Central Working Committee, and I was fired when I was nominated. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was fired when I got the nomination. Fired for a, for a while, but um, I like to say that you know I've seen this award show grow. And being now honored by the same guys who I, I was working with is, is such is such an honor. And it's Pan-African, so, you know, it's not something that you play around with. Ooh, all right. Yeah. Very nice. Now, speaking of Pan-African brothers, over here, the brother to my left, all the way from South Africa, even though you are from here, right, this place. So what do you feel about the Future Awards and the people it's honoring? Obviously, we've all worked with Sherwin Ajayi before. Uh, what's your take on all the other nominees as well? I think they are excellent people. They have done amazing work in each of their categories. And um, this is the one of the very few establishments that celebrate the future of Africa. And I look forward to it. It's an amazing um, endeavor. Here on the red carpet, 
here tonight. Uh, we have Afi Williams. She is one of the nominees of the Future Awards 2016 and the founder of Real Fruit, one of the yummiest dried fruit snacks ever in life. Afi, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Okay, so talk to us a little bit about when Real Fruit was started and uh, your journey up to here, up to this night. Um, Real Fruit was founded in 2012 and the whole idea was to introduce a novel snack but um, which is dried fruit as you mentioned but also to create a business that you know we could make in Nigeria and sell to the world so dried fruit is something that can be consumed anywhere and is big actually more outside Nigeria so our goal is really to build an export based business where we can sell made in Nigeria out in the world. Absolutely love it and then you got the nomination how did you feel when you were told you were a nominee for the future award? Uh, it was great, obviously always great to be recognized, um, you know obviously entrepreneurship is quite a challenging and sometimes lonely walk so um, it's great to convene amongst people who are being recognized for you know being young and daring in Nigeria so it's, it's a good thing all in all. So for the young and daring out there, for the people who want to, like you, uh, walk a path that isn't really trod, in fact you have to hack down the bushes along the way, what would you say to them, especially in this time where it's particularly trying, the economy doesn't look so great and people are scared, what would you say? Um, I would definitely say that um, learn a lot from people, so try as much as possible to, um, you know, network and, you know, learn as much as possible about the industry you're interested in going into and obviously take it one step at a time, there's really not much um, you can do outside of that and hope for the best. <laughs>
I like how we said that with confidence. <laughs> and we have Edri Martin. Yes, head of marketing for Comic Republic. Look at the power team. Teams that just stays together. Uh, so talk to us about what brings you to the award show tonight and what you're looking forward to as well. Okay, so today we're here tonight to celebrate the winners and um, the nominees as well who are shaping the future. What we're doing for the future awards is we're creating African superhero characters out of the winners because we believe that they are heroes for standing out and doing something, making an impact on our continent. We are going to create them as superhero characters, frame it and give it to them to remember. I love that. That is fantastic memorabilia to have. And then speaking of superheroes, these guys are achieving quite a lot. They are going through a lot. Um, but when we look at the importance of comic books as well and what superheroes do for the young and their imagination, can you talk to us a little bit about that and why it's important to actually have a comic book culture at all? Yeah, because, um, you know, when people are growing up, you know, every single thing we do is something that we've learned. And uh, countries like um, America, you know, if you look at people like Superman, Spider-Man, Captain America, yeah, they all have, you know, blue red the american flag so and because of that they've been able to raise patriotism and people who believe in themselves and are ready to go and get anything and that's what we need to do here because we have a lot of people who don't believe that they can achieve much and it starts from the mind the moment you can convince yourself or convince a set of people that nothing is impossible then the rules of impossibility just become an illusion. Um, for those of you who may not know, uh, Asuko is the Honorable Commissioner for Finance in Cross River State, yes, at the tender age of? 31. Look at that, such a young baby boy. Um, so how did you feel finding out that you were nominated? Uh, I think, first of all, I was humbled. Um, it was recognition for the work I've been doing and uh, I was truly um, amazed and proud actually at the same time, humble and proud at the same time to be uh, nominated for such a prestigious uh, award. Okay. Do you find that you have issues within the government being so young? Well, how do, how, what is the reception like for you? Well, at first, there's always going to be that initial uh, shock to see someone in uh, maybe such a sen sensitive position at such a, a relatively young age. But as soon as you show capacity, and uh, you show your mettle, I, I think uh, the questions, all doubts are taken off the table. So amidst the darkness of political and economic uncertainty, the Future Awards 2016 has indeed been a very bright light here in Lagos, Nigeria tonight. Coming across our red carpet, we have seen some of the movers, the shakers, the influencers, some of the brightest sparks on the continent, and we can't help but think that the future is indeed bright. Unfortunately, the red carpet has come to an end, so I'm signing out tonight. My name has been Folu Storms, and I will see you another time as you continue watching in Danny TV's red carpet.